Hey everyone, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have five fun Halloween cards for you today using a ton of Tim Holtz products, either from Stampers Anonymous or from Stampers Anonymous and from Ranger Inc. And as soon as I saw these large sentiments, these bold fright sentiments, I knew I wanted to make them center stage for my cards. So let's get that going today. We are using the Moon Mask layering mask from Tim Holtz. There's those beautiful sentiments. Aren't they so much fun? I saw him just recently on a live. I can't remember now what he was doing because I was just so excited about those stamps. So I have my A2 size card panels. I have five of them and we are going to be doing a ton of ink blending. So I did speed this up a lot um, because as much fun as it is to see ink blending, five cards of it is going to become a lot. So we have a lot of color combinations. So we have, well, what is this? Carved pumpkin, no, it's not, I'm lying. It's candied apple and lumberjack plaid. And I wanted to make these almost like a scene card in a way, like a mini scene, but where the sentiment is center stage. So I want to create this big moon. I'm using the largest moon in that stencil set. I want to have where the sentiment is going to be centered in that moon, but I want to have all of these different colors because I just think it is so much fun and just gives you the fun, creepy vibes. I also want to make sure that this card has a little bit of a grimy Halloween effect, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. This is Blueprint Sketch and Salty Ocean. I'm doing the lightest color near the moon and then the darkest color around the edges. So I'm gonna get this blended in really nicely. Oh, I think Tim Holtz was showing, I can't remember exactly what he was showing, but he was showing how you use a big sentiment like this, like a solid sentiment, and do like a double stamping on another stamp to give it texture. And it was just a couple weeks ago. Super fun. I'm just using some water to clean up my stamp. I can, or excuse me, my stencil and my work surface. I just have a little piece of tape on the back side. Um, it's mint tape from scrapbook.com. It's just a low tack tape. So whatever you have will work. This is Carved Pumpkin and Crackling Campfire. It's so, so fun. Look at that. I just think these colors are so pretty. And I will tell you once I start laying out the sentiments, kind of where my thought process was because I did match the sentiments to the colors, if that makes sense. I just, I wasn't willy nilly about it. I definitely had a purpose. And I'm just using a microfiber cloth to clean up my surface and the stencil. And I will say this does go really fast. I mean, you're ink blending, but like it's fast. It's just two colors. You don't have to ink blend the whole cardstock if you think about it because you have this big moon right in the center. So this is definitely a, a fun mass producing. And I am not a person for like always mass producing. I, I like it that it's a little bit different. So the fact that the colors were all different was fun because that was fun to watch that come together. That was Wilted Violet and Villainous Potion. And I think we have one last one. Our Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn. This is so fun and creepy. Let me get the Mowed Lawn on here. And these are going to just and these really do have a lot of little extra elements at the end that you're definitely going to want to stick around for because it adds that little something extra. So here is that moon mask and I'm using Lost Shadow. I'm blending it on and then I'm just using a little bit of the Lost Shadow just to tone down the white on the background. I'm going to do that for all of the card bases. Okay, let's add some grime here. We're using some texture paste, Distress Texture Paste. I am using Grave, and I think this was released last year or the year before, so it was just like a holiday release. They don't have it anymore. But you can use any texture paste, and I do have one listed and linked for you below, even if it's white, because we're going to ink blend over it. I am just adding it on the top and bottom, and as you can see, I am not being super neat about it. You can leave it as chunky as you want, as thick as you want. Just remember it has to dry. I'm kind of doing a nice thin layer, but I just want a 
grungy, grimy edge to all of these. I'm going to do this to all of my backgrounds exactly the same, but when you're done, definitely wash off your palette knife because this stuff dries. This stuff dries really, really quick, especially if you go thin. I'm not worried about going on the sides. I personally don't want it on the moon, but you know, it's your, it's your deal if you decide to do something like this and you can make it however you want. Now that it's dry, I am coming in with black soot and coming around the edges and going over the top of it. And look at how great it looks. I am in love with this. I'm going to do this on all of the cards. And I just think this is what really gave it that grimy, grungy, spooky feel. It definitely darkened up the whole card, which is what I wanted. But you still see a lot of the base color that we ink blended. And then that texture paste just grabs onto that black soot and it looks so nice. Okay, let's stamp our sentiments. And I'm gonna tell you how I picked my sentiments for each one of these. So the green one says boo because I was thinking of, and you do need, really quick, you do need to take your foam insert out of your Misty because these are uh, um, red foam stamps. I am gonna ink this up a couple times. I really wanna get a good stamp but these stamps have little cracks and holes in it the texture anyway so you are going to have some of that but i think that lends to the fun spooky feel so for the green one i did boo i was thinking of slimer on ghostbusters trick or treat on the red one i was thinking about the halloween movies with michael myers um and so that's why i i picked this the red for blood and you know the michael myers movies and doing it like this is so easy. I'm just lining it up in the center of, of that moon. I just think it's so pretty. I am using I Put a Spell on You in the blue because I feel like you can have, if someone's talking about a spell and you have blue lights and things like that coming off, I think that makes sense. This is just a me thing. I'm just letting you know what goes on in my mind when I make my cards. <laughs> I must have stepped away really quick for something. I apologize. And I'm just kind of cleaning the stamps quickly with my microfiber cloth. Of course, the purple needed to have the, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus, you know, that cute movie. And I felt like purple goes perfect with that. Making sure everything is lined up in my Misty, inking that up again with black ink. And I do like these bigger ones that kind of bleed over into the colored part of the background. I think that's a lot of fun. And then I think we just have one more in the orange. It says, I'm here for the candy. And to me, that just means it's just Halloween with the orange and you're going trick-or-treating for candy. So that was just kind of my, that was my crazy thoughts. Like I said, we're going to add some more details to the back of these cards with some little extra elements that bring this background more to life. And I'm so glad that I did. Now, let's do some splattering. I did black soot um, distress oxide spray. I'm not spraying it. I'm just taking the lid out and splattering the background. You can do as much as it, or as little as you want. And while I was doing this, I was kind of thinking about what else I wanted to add. So, of course, I added the honeybee stamps. Oh, shimmering, bee shimmery um, watercolor. And it is so shimmery. And I am not doing a crazy amount of this. I'm doing just a little bit of this because I don't want to take away from the grime by being too sparkly. But I still felt like you needed a little bit and it felt a little magical on the background. So I'm going to do that for all of the backgrounds in my little splatter box here. Okay, let's add some fun things. So I am using, let me make sure I have the, Trinity stamps, oh my stars, they're these little silver stars and they're different size. I think there's three different sizes. That's going to add an another little effect. I added that to, it's a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I have some die cut um, bats here and that is from scrapbook.com's Haunted House Shape Dies. Then I'm adding more of those Oh My Stars to I Put a Spell on You. I feel like that goes with this background. I was kind of matching my little 
stars and clay pieces to the sentiments because I'm just kind of weird like that. So I felt like this one needed those little stars as well, but we will add some more things to both of those. Then we have these really cute um, little clay pieces I have from Pretty Pink Posh. I think this is the Spooky Night Mix and there's these little purple circles, a lighter color purple that I'm just gonna add to the background. And obviously I'm trying to keep these um, oh, what's the word? My brain just stopped working. I can't even remember what I was going to say, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, there's these little clay bats that I'm adding to the boo and trick or treat just to fill in with those bat dies from scrapbook.com. So it adds just a little something extra. So I'm going to add a few of those. And I like to have some of this go into the moon, outside of the moon, between both. I like all of that. I'm here for the candy. This is the Halloween party mix from Pretty Pink Posh. It has some cute little candies. I was hoping it had another one of those orange striped ones, but it did not. So I'm just going to put a few of those candies everywhere. Look at how cute. And then the I Put a Spell on You. Um, this is Trinity Stamps Bone Collection. So I'm going to add a few bones of those because I figure if you're casting a spell, maybe you have bones of a frog or something. So let's take a look at these up close. They're super, super darling. I just want to say thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.